All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them. Good morning vlog. We're here at the facility. It's early, like 7.30. We're going to throw bullpens today. Rob Evans, Starnes, Trip, TJ. We all got here a little bit early to stretch and throw uh, before everybody else just so we can go lift and then get our lunches we practice. 12.45 we got to be there. So a busy day today. It's Friday and we're getting right after it. So just another classic day here at the academy of being a stud. Starnes. Amino Energies. Sponsor us. Sarns is drinking some energy. TJ stretching. This is great content, Roman. It is. Look at this idiot. All right, we're gonna get stretching, so we can throw at a decent time, and I don't have to wait for everybody. So, let's get into it. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where? I need everything. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, there's five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body, another one body, that's just, I, I can to play with the pros, and act like a rookie, so they overlook me, then I double up again, none of their knows, none of them cold, they just got lucky, but never adapted, so I'm to the one if it's coming to blows, my enemies cutting it close, I let them think that they got me, but what do you know, I had them beat before we ever spoke, I'm ready for smoke. I need it is Thursday, January 21st, you all saw my bullpen from about a week ago. Um, haven't really done much since, just kind of the same stuff, lifting and throwing and arm care and, um, school. So, I mean, not much to really talk about from that point of view, but I'm going to talk about some MLB stuff that's going on. Um, a lot of deals have went down over the past week. We got Lindor and Carrasco going to the Mets, um, really big for the Mets, um, Mets are really looking for another big bat, probably, and then maybe another arm if they can get it, but who even knows? The Mets are looking pretty strong going into the 2021 season, and um, George Springer signed with the Blue Jays two days ago. Um, big signing for the Blue Jays, getting an extra outfielder and another bat, uh, kind of what they needed. I mean, obviously, they also need pitching as well, but... Uh, could be a threat in the American League East. So, they uh, the Blue Jays were also projected to get Michael Brantley, but I think that deal fell through, and Brantley ended up with the Astros, so he is back in Houston. And um, Liam Hendricks, reliever of the year, actually, I think. I believe he was the reliever of the year for 2020. Signed with the White Sox. So... Big deal for the White Sox there, getting another arm in the bullpen. Um, kind of what they were looking for as well. So most of the teams just kind of getting um, getting out there and just getting what they need, which is productive offseason for for those teams. And um, LeMahieu also re-signed with the Yankees, which is what I like to see. I'm a big Yankee fan, so getting him back in that big lineup and having a 300 hitter back in there and a good lead off. A uh, good defensive guy as well back in the lineup is going to be huge for us, especially this year. Yankees just signed Corey Kluber as well. Going to be a good starting rotation there. Hopefully Severino's healthy as well so he can come back and have a good year. Domingo, Domingo Herman is supposed to be back as well. We'll see what um, Devi Garcia can do this year. Maybe he'll he'll get a few starts. And then obviously you got the normal guys like Tanaka and you've got um, Garrett Cole and uh, all your big name guys. So, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year for the Yankees. And then obviously you got your position guys as well. And the Yanks, I mean, not a lot going on there. Yankees always kind of have a quiet off season. So unless they're making dramatic changes, which they aren't this year, considering that they're one step away from being that big powerhouse team that they have always been in the past. Uh, but I mean, that's pretty much. The MLB stuff, I mean, a lot of deals are probably going to come up soon here, but 
still a lot of big names on the market. You got JT Real Muto, Marcelo Zuna, and probably the biggest name on the market right now, Trevor Bauer. So, uh, I mean, those guys are all going to get a lot of money wherever they go regardless. So, I mean, those are key franchise players building a team around them. And, uh, I mean, especially with Bauer coming off of his Cy Young season, he's going to make a lot of money. And uh, we'll see where he ends up. But, I mean, there's a lot of teams that are probably interested. The Angels probably, I think, have the best shot at getting him. And then the White Sox are probably interested as well. Just signing Liam Hendricks, that could be uh, a deciding factor for Bauer as well. And the White Sox also have a good pitching staff and are a team on the rise this year. Um, Dodgers are also a potential option. I mean, I would hate to see him go to L.A., play with the Dodgers, considering how stacked their team already is. Um, so who knows, but crazy, crazy week in baseball. I mean, we'll see what happens with it. Just doing some schoolwork now, so crushing this out. And uh, we're going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings tonight for dinner with the boys. It is Thursday, so we are going to get double bonus wings because that is what it is here tonight in South Carolina I don't know if it's different in any other state but it is here so we're gonna do that new addition to the room we have got this stud flag it is my YouTube banner so pretty sick there and uh we've also made one giant bed we've combined the two beds in here and now we have a big king size bed, which is nice. So I get a lot of extra sleep in this big bed. What's up guys? We're out here on the golf course with TJ Martinez. Gonna be uh, not another vlog, but we're just gonna get some, some cool shots. And uh, it's a Saturday, so we had nothing else to do. It's nice out, so we decided to come golf at this beast here. Gonna crush some drives and hopefully make some pars and birdies. And uh, yeah, so cut to the montage. gym got done golfing a few hours ago so just kind of crushing weight he got this stud crushing deadlift martina says the bar's feeling light today so so we'll see what, what he's feeling like we got tj too then we got rob evans crushing some dumbbell on the bench and we're gonna do core velocity tonight um gotta work on some mechanical stuff so we're gonna work on that and yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, just got back from lifting. We're watching UFC 257 tonight. Gonna watch McGregor. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he does. First fight in a while, so um, he's facing off against Dustin Poirier. Excited. Alright guys, watched the fight last night. McGregor ended up losing. Kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, this is gonna be the end of the vlog. If you enjoyed, click the little like button down below. Um, and just know that the subscribe button is an option. If you want to stay updated on when I post a new video, click the little bell. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching. Peace.
I can show you what I'm worth. My hands in the dirt. From where they look when you not, a hand in your purse. Hell, if you think I'm last, hey, last should be first.